It's been my privilege to lead AONL through the last two years, and what a time it has been. AONL membership remains strong and has grown to over 11,000 members, truly a testament to the support and leadership this community provides. More than 3,000 of you connected with this community through our virtual conference this summer, and I hope we will have the chance to connect in person at AONL 2022 in San Antonio, April 11th through 14th. My AONL colleagues have provided invaluable counsel and understanding through these trying times, and I relish the opportunity to talk with nurse leaders more broadly about solutions we can lead for the challenges we continue to face. Those challenges were detailed in AONL's three-part COVID-19 impact longitudinal study. Staffing and staff emotional health and well-being top nurse leaders lists as the biggest concerns they have faced in the last six months. On a national level, AONL has strongly advocated on issues that get to the heart of these challenges, pressing Congress to strengthen the nursing workforce, invest in nursing education, support the mental health and resiliency needs of our clinicians, and expand telehealth to increase access to care. In May, nearly 240 nurse leaders representing 36 states and the District of Columbia participated in AONL's first virtual advocacy day, driving home for elected officials the urgent need to address these issues. We've been part of a remarkable moment in our world's history. I want to thank you for the essential role you've played. The times you kept going when you weren't sure you could, the times you found an answer to questions that had not yet been asked, the times you relied on your instinct and leaned into your learning to care for patients, colleagues, communities, and yourself in ways no one anticipated. I close with heartfelt thanks to each of you for the work you do and the leaders you are.